Okay, so instead of like watching the episode of Riverdale because I don't have that cool camera or anything like that, I figured I'll just give you the highlights. So I have some filmed and I will probably cut me like talking to you and stuff about it to show you like a little like a snippet of it maybe. I don't really know how this is going to go. And then I'm going to talk about the ending of the episode. I feel like maybe I should just do like kind of like a highlight of the episode and then talk about like the ending and what I think about it. If that's cool or not, but like we're going to try it. We're going to see. Let's see because, yeah. So basically we start off with Archie being accused for this murder of, his name's Cassidy I believe, from the Wood episode, like when they went on that retreat or whatever. And... Yeah, that's not really cool. In a lot, I'm a lot. Body President Archie Andrews. You got Andre to kill my boy at Shadow Lake, Cassidy. And when I do prove this, I'm just gonna come for you. Steps have been taken to dissolve the fairy glue that holds them together. Sheriff Mineta, what are you doing? You're under arrest for the. I'm just like, I'm doing it because he came after me. And yeah, that's what I'm doing it for. It really is makes no sense he's just basically doing it because he can and he's like i want him off the table because that's how i can hurt you without hurting you because he's crazy well he's talking around a couple he does that yeah because he's crazy that easy it all worked out just like you planned archie didn't play by your rules he threatened you so you punished him you destroyed his life you think i did all this Ooh. He even admitted it. This is your punishment. You chose that boy over me, right? Ooh. My own daughter. You don't have a daughter anymore. Dang. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's still living there. But she is. And basically, let's talk. So we got uh, Archie got a, a snake tattoo on his right shoulder. I speak from experience. I mean, mine is the first thing that goes when you're locked up. If you keep your head on straight, you can get through anything. For when he, if he goes to prison right now, and um, Betty is supposedly seen as a psychiatrist and Dr. Glassman, but then we find out that's a lie. And her mom's like, why are you lying to me about this? Why are you getting your Adderall filled up? And why are you self-prescripting? And we're like, we don't know why. And that's pretty crazy. Polyandry. They can't complete an Adderall prescription that was requested by your doctor because you had one refilled in Greendale two weeks ago. And they must have mixed up their dates. I don't know. I'll call Dr. Glass. He said there is no. Polly just sees me because he doesn't exist. You've been forging, forging prescriptions for yourself. We're worried about you, Betty. You've been lying about going to therapy. Now you're making up a psychiatrist so that you can scam medication. Ooh. And then we have this, like, a uh, boogeyman kind of character. I forgot his name, but it's supposedly, like, a role-playing game. And this creepy guy, like, popped out of nowhere. I'll show you some scenes to do that. That's not really a good time, okay? Why did he go by himself? That's my question. What the crap? Told you he was gonna die or disappear or something. Maybe he's alive. Is he alive? You can 
to see that. But, like, that's going to be our mystery for the season, figuring out what's going on with this. But it's not supernatural. Lily Run Hunt said in the interview they're not going supernatural. So some people are losing their minds and joining some whacked out cult. Besides, you know, Alice and Polly, they're in a cult. In my opinion, they're in a cult, you know what I mean? What are they doing with the babies? If they drop those babies, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh! What the crap? Oh, I would pass out too! She having a seizure? Don't touch her. She's having a seizure. Let her seize. Let her seize. Uh, yeah. And then the baby's floating at the end. Apparently Betty was like hallucinating that, I believe. Or we don't know. We don't know because the episode end airs like tonight. But this is probably not going to go up till tomorrow or whatever because I suck at editing and I have too much in my life and I hate this so much. I have frost in my face. I just had a donut. It was delicious, by the way. Delicious. I was so happy. I dreamed about having a donut last night whilst I was dreaming in Spanish. Because I do that now. I dream in Spanish. Anyways, and then Betty, like, saw the babies floating. Like, one's Juniper and I don't remember the boy's name. I only remember Juniper because that's a dormitory in GCU. So, yeah. Anyways she fell down and she had a seizure and Archie went to prison and that is how your honor in lieu of another trial the state is prepared to offer a deal for a lesser sentence instead of prison time served plus two years in juvenile detention if mr. Andrews will plead guilty to the crime of manslaughter your honor I'll take the deal no. they ended it and so we're probably gonna just gonna see when I come visiting Archie a lot at prison and he's gonna go through the prison life yeah and we're going to figure out what's going on with Betty and why she's having seizures. Well, hopefully. And that is my recap or take on this Riverdale episode. And um, I like this. I like telling you about this. And then me, like, inserting clips throughout. This is going to be good. Yeah.